So I just watched episode one and two of the Rings of Power. Um, and yeah, so to be to be quite transparent with you guys, this is the second time I'm trying to watch this show. Uh, the first time I watched it, I stopped at episode three. Yeah, I stopped at episode three. Um, and mainly I think I stopped because I was just, you know, following all the haters or something because, yeah, I was not liking it back then. Uh, to be, you know, from the get-go here, I'm gonna say it, I'm enjoying it in a way. There are some flaws with this show, uh, which I'm going to cover in just a moment. But let's start with the biggest positive of this show. It looks amazing. It's like the visual effects are just gorgeous. Everything looks so good in that show. Um, yeah, I'm, I can complain about the visuals. Everything looks so good, actually. But on with the complaints then. <laughs> That's it for the biggest positives. I'll have other positives, you know, don't be afraid. I'm not here to trash talk this show, actually. Um, because, as I said, once again, I kind of enjoyed it, actually. Uh, but let's just start with episode one, you know. <laughs> Uh, so it just starts with Galadriel. Yeah, I was about to make the same thing. Galadriel. Uh, Galadriel is being bullied. I don't know why they wanted to add this. It doesn't. Yeah, I really did not like that part. Actually, uh, I would have liked to see Morgoth fall. Actually. I don't know why it's just kind of <laughs> this small portion of the first episode. Like it could have been half of the show. Half of that first, you know, out of that first season. Half of that could have been just this, you know, the war against Morgoth. I'm not there yet in the Silmarion, so I don't know. If the elves were really at war against Morgoth or only against Sauron. But that's something that I'm going to see actually in Valaquenta, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I would have really liked to see Morgoth fall more than just that, you know. Better w scenes of war you know, war sequences and everything. It just, yeah, it just feels like a missed opportunity, actually. Uh, again, I'm still on that first episode, but elves are supposed to be this high and mighty, you know. Essentially, they're supposed to be sages. They're supposed to be these super intelligent beings, but I don't feel it in that first episode, actually. I really don't feel like they're smart at all. Like the High King is one of the dumbest guy around. So, yeah. Uh, and, you know, I don't mind. At first, I really minded Galadriel being this warrior woman. I was like, nah, Galadriel is not a warrior or anything. I don't really mind it in here. What I mind is Galadriel just being this huge pain in the A, I mean, she, she's an asshole, she's just, yeah, I, I don't really connect with her, she's always super angry, super mad, so yeah, she's always like super mad <laughs> at everybody, so yeah, that's something, you know, that just don't feel right with me. Uh, now on episode two, uh, yeah. So Celebrimbar just walks with Elrond, Elrond to Casadum and just to be stopped at the gates and just he has to turn back essentially. I was like, this is so bad writing, like who yeah, I don't 
and the whole thing with the war between the dwarf and the elf so between Durin and Elrond I just yeah it, it doesn't make any sense they just did that to I don't know to fill the blanks or whatever it just yeah it felt like a filler actually and yeah the reason why Durin is mad is just really bad it doesn't make sense actually <laughs> one thing that I this is a note that I've taken you know when Galadriel jumps from the boat you know how far can she swim like she's in the middle of nowhere and yeah I'm just gonna swim to shore or whatever it, yeah <laughs> and the guy's name that is in the um, raft that she's after she jumped into the water, like this guy brings her to his raft, uh, Hallbrand, Hallbrand, like the cereals. I don't know. It's just <laughs> I'm I can't take him seriously. I'm sorry. And yeah, last complaint I have is the elf. You know, he sees a tunnel and he's like, uh, <laughs> I don't remember exactly what he says, but the woman is like. Uh, Hey, are you sure you should go there? Like, we don't know who dug this hole or whatever. He's like, this is precisely where I, why I have to go in there. And he gets kidnapped. And by the way, the hands that grabs him is just... That scene was really well done. I really liked it. But it just, you know... There are just these small, cheap writing methods from time to time that are just not that good I just want for the writer to step it up just a little bit more because you know if you come from Game of Thrones or whatever like the writers on the these shows were just so good the dialogues were amazing and here they just feel lacking in some way they are they never really feel natural or anything and they always reveal too much because they try to be clever but they're not really clever so it's kind of yeah i i really didn't like that i hope that it gets better i really hope that galadriel evolves into a more lovable character because for now i really don't I really don't care about her. I don't care about her quest to find Sauron. I and avenge her brother. I just don't care about that at all. I hope she redeems herself later on. So next, I'll be talking about part two of the Silmarillion. So Valacuenta. I'm almost finished with it. I think it's 20 pages long. And I almost finished reading it. And I'll be making a video rather shortly. And then right after that so a day or two afterwards i'll be talking about rings of power episode three and four actually so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one